All right, all right, welcome back to another video of the Facebook ads video course. Um, and today we're going to be talking about covering a little bit about how to edit and manage, how to edit and manage uh, your Facebook ads, right? So the previous video, we talked about creating Facebook ads. We gave you introductions about the ads manager, um, uh, how to create a Facebook page, um, how to find information about ad policies and etc. right? So in today's video, as I mentioned before, we're going to be covering about edit and manage, edit and manage your Facebook ads. All right. So, okay. We went ahead and created the ads. Now, what are some of the sort of the thing, the changes we can make or and how to manage, right? So, edits that you can make to the ads could be no at the campaign level. So what I mean by that is once you choose an objective, um, you cannot change that, right? So for example, if you created a brand awareness campaign and then you were looking to do more of a traffic campaign or a conversion campaign, and in order for you to do that, depending on your budget, you can either leave this one on Right, but if you have a limited budget, then you're gonna have a go stop this one. Right, uh, how you can stop an ad is just simply, you know, just simply click over here. You can either start it or stop it. Right now, if it's the blue, if you see the blue um, toggle there, uh, that means it's running, or you turn it on. If it's grayed out, that means that you turn it off. Um, and there are different, by the way, I'm looking at by, uh, my ads manager, and there are different, um, you can turn it off at any of the three components of an ad, right, of an ad campaign. You can turn it off at the campaign level, and if you do it here, it will turn it off at the ad set level and at the ad creation as well. While if you, let's say, for example, have multiple ads under um, a specific campaign, if you turn off uh, a specific ad, it will turn off only that ad. Well, for some many reasons, right? Let's say you have multiple ads created and there's few ads that are doing better than others. And obviously you want to turn off all the other ads that are not doing that good and just simply um, turn, leave on the ones that are doing good. Yeah. You can turn it off as well at the ad set level. And, um, and again, if you have multiple ad sets, you can um, you can turn off just one, not all of them. Now, if you do turn off the ads at the ad set level, that means that any ads you have under the ad set level, it will be turned off. Okay, so let's see if I can if we have any. So, for example, right, we're gonna choose two campaigns. Obviously, each campaign may have one, two, however many ad sets you want to have. Now, because I have two ad campaigns selected, um, that's why you've seen two ad sets. Now, doesn't mean that I was going to be like that, right? It all depends how many ad sets are built between under uh, a specific campaign. As I mentioned before, right? Let's say I don't choose. A specific campaign now you're gonna see multiple ad sets and under multiple ad sets you may see multiple ads right so if I go and turn off a specific ad set let's say for this one for example the ad may be on however if the ad set is off the ad will not be running hope um, we kind of make that clear how do you how you can turn off and on uh, the ads or stop and uh, either stop then or or getting back you know getting started again to can you continue going you can do that at any point right stop it or restart them there's no penalties for that um, if you stop them basically Facebook will not charge you you don't have a contract where you, let's say you say you put a budget of $20 and you didn't finish the $20, that's fine. Facebook doesn't penalize you or 
um, or is there there's no like a contract where okay you say 20 bucks and I gotta stick to that 20 bucks no you can stop that at any point right and all of that could happen if you have some issues with your ads right if you have some issues with your ad or you or you come across something that is not working and you want to start from scratch you can perfectly fine just stop it and start so that's one of the things you can do to edit the ad um, you see different buttons over here right you can duplicate it if you click the little pencil over here you'll be changing the name um, if you click the little quick edit option over here then you'll be going into the different um, levels that you can modify within the campaign as I mentioned before the objective cannot be modified then if we go into the ad set we can modify that however I will recommend that if you're going to modify something on the ad set um, and depending how long you you've been running it um, I will recommend you to if you've been running for a long time and um, you were choosing for example people to anything that you're going to change within an ad set i would recommend you that especially if you've been running for a long time to if you have another thing something else you want to test another audience another placement etc uh, i would recommend you to just basically leave that one on if your budget allow it if your budget doesn't allow it stop this one and start another one from scratch okay or you can simply duplicate it but start that one all over and before you start running the other one to duplicate or the new one just do your modifications and the reason why is because um, especially if you add objectives are conversions or uh, traffic right if you're using those type of uh, ad objectives well if you go and mess up something with the ad set that's where you tell Facebook the type of where you want to uh, be uh, what what is it you want that is where the algorithm goes and works with you to see to go find you the specific settings the specific uh, you know to go find people based on the criteria that you provide at the ad set level and if you go in and mess with that it's been running for some time then basically you just basically confuse the ad set the algorithm you just give it a new instructions that they were not there before so that's why I recommend you to um, if for some reason you change something on the ad set and the ad has been running more than four days, let's say, or than a week or two weeks, um, then just simply right, stop that one, start a new one if you need to, or if your budget allows it, just let that one run, get some more data for you, and start another one as well. Or you can just go and create it. You don't need to start the, the other one. You can simply um, uh, build it if you're not ready to start it. Right? So that's what I wanted to go over in regards to managing or, or editing the ad set um, at the ad set level right based on the on the campaign on the objective um, you can see there you can modify different things um, the destination cannot be changed this was an offer ad so that I cannot change an offer the amount I can change the amount the date uh, when to end the audiences I can modify that um, my locations placements etc right you see there are the different things that I can modify now at the ad creation level I can do as much as I want um, I can modify with no problem at all however the data may may differ as well right so if it's if you could go in there and modify it because uh, there's uh, you know something was bad with the link hopefully you notice that some the link was bad you know when the ad was just getting started hopefully it's not something you're gonna notice after you spend a hundred two hundred dollars right um, if it's something with the grammar that's fine go ahead and correct it um, if, if you look into change pictures I will then suggest you to okay don't you know instead of um, uh, changing the picture just because you want to try another picture see if it does better it's better how about instead you may want to well, you may want to do it's do like a duplicate or create a new ad right it doesn't charge you extra for 
running more than one ad. Where it's gonna charge you is at the ad set level. So if you have more than one ad set, um, that's where it's gonna charge you the specific amount that you are putting on your daily budget or your lifetime budget. So at the ad setup, you, at the ad creation level, again, we already touched base that you can modify you know, things like uh, the website link, the text on the URL, the headline, the, web, the images, video, um, etc. So that's how you edit the, um, the Facebook ads. In reference to manage it, I already mentioned to you, right, you can turn it off and on at any point. Um, you can come here, you can have the Facebook ads application. Right, you will log into that Facebook ads application on your mobile phone to manage it. That's a great way to manage because you can turn it on and off, turn it on and off, and see how your ads are doing uh, from the mo from you know if you're mobile for some reason. Um, that additional that application is separate from your regular Facebook, as I mentioned in prior videos. It doesn't cost you extra. It's part of the Facebook family, and the way you log into that one is using your assistant. Uh, login credentials that you the same ones you use to log into your profile. Something else you can do to manage is um, look at the different columns that Facebook has here for you to see um, how the performance of your ad. Something that I like to do is come in to see the performance in clicks. Okay, before we go into that, let me just show you, let me talk to you a little bit about the column so you, that you know what you're looking at to manage the, the ads, okay? So what you're looking at over here, obviously this is the campaign name. Um, this little triangle over here will tell you if it's something uh, wrong with one of your ads, right? Uh, the delivery means basically if the ad is being delivered or is inactive, right, if it's active. If it's active, that means it's being delivered if it's inactive, the ad is stopped and it's not being shown to people. And you're not getting charged for that. Uh, budget. Using ad set budget. I don't know why it's not showing the budget. <laughs> Results, right, depending on the type of objective. So, for example, these were uh, traffic ads or some other, some type of ad that indicate that. Um, objective worst uh, uh, link clicks. So that's why this is in there. Uh, these are branding ads, so that's why you get a, a recall. Reach ad, how many people they reach. Leads, right, how many leads were generated. Uh, post engagement, if we're doing like engagement ads. Then you have reach, meaning, right, the, type of, the number of people that were, that, uh, um, that ad was, um, shown to the number of people and then impressions uh, the number of time your ad were seen so maybe you will be asking yourself what's the difference between reach and impression so as you can see it can it will tell you that um, it will tell you here real quick uh, a quick summary right the number of so reach it says over here the number of people who saw your ad at least once Reach is different from impressions, which may include multiple views of your ads by the same people. So most of the times, impressions will be higher, right? Impressions over here, as you can see, are way higher than reach. That means that a lot of people got to, to see it, uh, or, or that was put on the screen, but uh, put in the screen could mean something like as simple as uh, scrolling down your timeline. So for example, if I'm going through my, through my, um, if I'm scrolling through my timeline kind of quick like this, um, there are ads that were shown that I didn't pay much attention, but still that count as an impression. So for example, this ad over here, I went too quick. Hmm. You have uh, Sam's oven is using a Gary Vee picture. What's this about? The online business war has gone mad. Finance, chatbot, webinars, be by coin, uh, ad, 
podcast, live stream, e-com, Shopify, social media, personal brand, content. All these tools are for losers. Seriously, wake the hell up. So it sounds like he just um, uh, using a phrase from uh, Gary V. Marketing chat button fund is out for losers. Seriously. What kind of things he has in there? This is not a funnel. This isn't for you. If you can watch a video and listen to simple instructions, you are unlikely to achieve anything in business. Give up now. These things might not, might be more your style. Got speed, you're a psychopath. Oh dear. Not sure why he's intended there. This is not a funnel. This video shared nine inconvenience truths about the current state of the business market. And then this isn't for you. So I guess uh, he's... Um, I guess he's doing some type of uh, blog this way. Wow, well, he's using some advanced stuff. Okay, I'm always interested to see what Sam Owens is doing out there. Um, very great marketing. You should definitely follow him. But uh, as you can see, I first scrolled down. That was an impression, right? But a reach is, as you can, see, as you saw in the description. Um, a reach is the number of people who saw your ads at least once. They actually got to see them, meaning they stop. I don't know if uh, how much Facebook can take counts to take into consideration. Maybe three seconds. I don't know, right? And once that happens, um, that's what they cons when they consider a reach. Cost per result, right? Depending on the objective. So, for example, this is costing so far three cents to Per, ad, per, per estimated ad recall lift. This, for example, costs 25 cents per link click. Um, this, for example, costs 81 cents per lead, right? You know, when I was using the, the, the lead ad form and, and so on. You get to, uh, you get the idea there. Um, so cost per result, it tells you based on the ad objective. Then the amount spent, if you had a specific budget, right? Like for example, I was using lifetime budget and all this. Ends, when it ended. Uh, frequency, the, num the amount of time that people got to see your ad. Um, so for example, this one, it says 5.21. It means that in average, people were looking at five my ads five times, right? This one, in average, we're looking at and four times my ad. That's what frequency is. You need link clicks, meaning, right, uh, how many people click on the ad um, at least. Um, the number of people who perform a link click. Now, there are different columns you can set. You can set a view for depending on the type of ad you're running. One that I mentioned before that I like to do is performance and clicks, especially if I'm doing a lot of traffic and conversion type of ad. Uh, for this account, I'm not doing too much of that. And so that's why maybe it's not that important. Uh, click So clicks all, right? Click through uh, rate ratio uh, for all. It doesn't mean just click to people go to your website, but click all mean, means a lot of things, right? The number of clicks on your ad. But the clicks are all, I consider a lot of different things, not just the click on the actual link. Now, this over here, click through rate link, click through, then that's different. That means actually people that, um, that actually click on your links, right? Cost per, per link, um, the rate, etc. So that gives you an idea of the difference between the clicks all and the click, the, 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 the link clicks. Um, that's all I wanted to cover in reference to, uh, editing and managing. Uh, if you're going to be managing, um, by the way, these, the, those, those, uh, stats you saw there, uh, those can be seen at any, at the campaign level, at the ad set level and at the ads level, right? So you can see all of those stats there at different levels. Uh, so it's up to you, depending on what is it that you want to capture, especially if you are uh, keeping track of your return, uh, 
key performance indicators, right? The KPI. And that's something that you have to decide for your own. What are those key performance indicators, right? So for example, if you um, are looking to uh, generate a specific amount of leads and you know that per lead you are willing to spend up to ten dollars um, that's basically like for you checking your polls right so if, if if for a lead I'm willing to spend up to ten dollars right um, then that's something that you may want to monitor uh, to see what um, how much is costing you per per lead so that just just make sure that your money is being used uh, you know, in a way that is not going to um, uh, cost you more than that you need to, right? Uh, and this one, I'm not, I'm not uh, capturing any leads on this ones, um, on this uh, ads that I show you. Um, well, I'm, I am capturing leads, but I'm not showing in this dashboard that I'm that I have over here for you. I'm not, I'm not. Um, uh, this report that I'm showing over here, I, I don't have this set up to um, show the well, how much I'm paying per lead. Okay. Now, one that you will know, of course, it's the the lead format. That one, yes, you can you can you can see how much I pay for lead because that's a lead form, right? You can see that it was sixty cents on this specific ad per lead. Um, so you can see that and this one was 84 cent so you can see that because I'm using a lead format um, well I want to go ahead and cut it for now um, look forward to see you in the next video but I hope this gives you enough information to at least get an idea of what it takes to edit or how to do editing on your ads and how to manage them all right have a good one bye